Greetings to all of you, my dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, and all of you are welcome to my new broadcasting in The Secret Place. And we are together in Psalm 18. This is your pastor, Yadi. Today in our reflection we're going to talk about God provides confidence of victory. Our key verse for today is Psalm 18, verse 2. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I can take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. This is a beautiful expression of comprehensive praise and worship based on the opening statement, I love you, O Lord. I love you because you save me from my enemies when I call upon you. I love you because when I am distressed and face the threat of death, you hear my cry for help. I love you because when the whole world is in a turmoil and chaos, you draw me out, deliver me, and delight in me. I love you because... You reward me according to my righteousness. You enlighten my way. You are shield of refuge. You deliver me from the contentions of the people. And on and on. What a sense of victory he gives when we meditate on all the Lord has done for us. When we think of his power, his character, his grace, his holiness, and all that he does for us. Our confidence and joy should overcome any threat or discouragement, even the prospects of death, natural disaster, and the storms of life do not shake us. For the Lord is our rock, our fortress, and our deliverer. He is our shield, our refuge, and our salvation. We can be assured that He will reward us for our righteousness, for keeping our hands pure, and for engaging in sinful deeds. But it is not because of our own holiness. It is the One who guides us, protects us from evil and harm, and makes us our way blameless. There is no one like the Lord. He blesses us and, like the deer, sets our feet on high places, allow from the filth and the hardship of the world to claim the victory and enjoy fellowship with Him. He lights my lamp and illumines our darkness, enlightening our understanding and showing us the way. In His strength we overcome. He trains our hands for battle. In His power we can run upon a troop and leap over a wall. In his strength we can stand against a multitude and overcome any obstacle. He will protect us against our enemy and bring down those who hate us. He delivers us from continuous contentions of the people. He upholds us and sustains us with his powerful right hand of authority and power. If we are exalted and raises the places of leadership, as was David, it is only because God has placed us there, the only bearer in our own pride and hardness in thinking we are self-sufficient, we can do it ourselves, and we are blessed because of what we have done. We are assured of victory. Therefore, we should give thanks to God testify of his love and greatness among the nations and sing praises to his name. Let us pray. Lord, it seems I am always under attack, if not by adversaries and critics, by circumstances that tend to rob me of my joy and victory. Help me rather to rely on my own strength not to rely on my own strength, but to call upon you because you are my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. 
You are my shield and my strength. I have no righteousness of my own, but you enable me to dwell in the high places of your presence and holiness. You show me your will and guide me in your way, that I may be pure and blameless. Even when I am lifted up over others, keep me humble. Help me always to recognize that you have blessed me and equipped me with strength to glory, glorify your Son, to glorify you and testify of your goodness and mercy. We ask all this in the powerful name of your Son, Jesus the Christ. May you find peace within, my dear ones. This is your pastor, Yadi. I love you guys. Bye.